Hi, Dresser Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a noodle from Miraculous Ladybug. So let's get started. To draw this cute butterfly, Kwame, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and give myself a point. And from here, I'm just going to go up nice and high to draw the eyes. So I'm going to round it off right here and bring it right back. So I'm going to go right across. Give yourself another point, uh, let's see, about right here. And then we're going to draw the same thing. Go nice and high, just like the other side. Just make sure I'm about the same. And round it off and bring it right back there. So then from there, we're going to draw a circle inside. So let's say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a really big circle. And then I'll just come to the top right here and just make this part a little bit darker just to anchor the eyes a little bit better. And then right here, I'm just going to put in a circle for a highlight and shade everything else in. So let's do the same thing over here. So about right here, I'm just going to draw another circle inside and then a highlight. Shade it all in. And make this part nice and dark, the top. There. From there, let's come in between the eyes, a little bit lower, say about right here. We're just going to draw a soft curve for a smile and cap it off. And I'm going to come to the top right here and just draw a soft curve over each eye. Then let's go ahead and we're going to frame the face. So I'm going to come to, let's say about right here, kind of the center of the eye. I'm going to come out really close to it. Same thing right here. And I'm going to draw a soft curve and bring it down. So let's come about right here. I'm just going to kind of curve around the eye for the cheek area and bring it in. The so same thing here. Then I'm going to find my center and then come down to say about right here. I'll just give myself a point so I know where I'm going. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and draw a straw curve towards that point for a chin. So definitely turn your paper, your body, whatever you need to do to help you draw this big curve. There. And I'm a little bit off. <laughs> it's always hard not looking over the paper. So definitely put your head over your drawing and that will help. Oh. Okay, so now that I have that part in, let's bring this up a little bit more. Straighten it out a little bit more. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw the big head. So I'm going to go up nice and high. And so say about right here. It's easier for my hand to come down. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this big dome dome of a head. So let's come up. So say about right here is my center. And then I'm going to bring it right back down and connect. There. So nice and high. Round this off a little bit more. Okay. So now that I have that, we're going to draw the swirl on top of the head. So if you're just going to be coloring it, use a, a purple, darker purple marker to do this. But I wanted to show you in a Sharpie. Um, I mean, I wanted to show you how to draw this. So I'm just use my Sharpie right here and I'm going to basically start right in the center. And I'm going to swirl pretty low and just bring it in towards the center. And then we're just going to go ahead and thicken it up go right back out. So just use a darker purple marker. Oops. <laughs> okay, I think it's easier for my hand to go this way now. So I just want to kind of make it nice and even all the way around there for this little swirl at the top. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and draw the little body. So we're going to come to the center and we're just going to give this Kwame a little neck and then a little shoulder, so just a tiny little body. And then about right here, kind of like where the armpit area would be, I'm just going to give myself two points and we're just going to draw an angle line down. There. And then let's just bring this down a little bit more. 
let's say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a little curve right in the center. And this is where the legs are going to start. So I'm just going to draw two curves out and then we're just going to go ahead and connect and round it off and round it off. Then from there, we're going to draw the feet. So we're going to come right here and just pop out these little feet. So a little bit thicker towards the bottom and same thing here. And there, and then for the hands, nice and simple. We're just going to curve a little bit and connect. It's the same thing here. And connect there. And then now to make it a butterfly, Kwame, right? We're going to have to draw some wings. So let's come, let's say about right here. I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to draw these wings. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then we're going to bring it in. So there's two parts So bring it in and then about right there, I'm going to pop it out again, come down to about right here. Then we're going to bring this point to connect and round it off. Let's bring this in a little bit more. And then there's this part that comes out, a little tail area. And then just add a little, kind of like an eyedrop shape right here at the end. Okay, so same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna drag some points across them approximately the same. So about right here, just so I know where I'm going with all these points. Okay, so let's come back right here to this point. And just like the other side. And don't worry, it's not going to be exactly the same. We just want to approximate same area and size. So stay about there. And then we're going to come out just like the other side and come down. And right here where my point is, bring it in and connect. And then once again, we're going to draw that little tail and approximate. So about right here. And this little teardrop shape there. And that is pretty much it for my drawing here of, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Nuro, <laughs> Nuro from uh, Miraculous Ladybug, the Butterfly Kwame. I really hope I helped you draw her fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.